I feel like I keep turning this thing on and off, which I actually do. Okay, single screw right here, and the rest of it moves after you remove that one screw. Back there, however, is the uh, auxiliary power here. So you'll have to remove that, and that seems to be the only other thing holding this in. So let's find out and see if I can't prevent myself from getting wet over here. I don't know if this is... It's mostly dry, but it's still a little bit wet. You might be able to see this, you know, kind of glistening on my fingers here. Kind of nasty, because I have to touch my touch my uh, camera with it, too. Ah! Okay, so it looks like it's on right here. There it goes. So you lift it up and out. Kind of be careful with the shift boot and try not to actuate anything. Let's hope I don't. Really could do without the car's airbags deploying right now. I'm gonna need both hands for this, I think. Let me try this. <laughs> Wonder if that's aimed right. All right, let's see here. I kind of gently lift it up. No, I think I'm doing something wrong here. How far up does it need to go? This is a. Pr <laughs> this is pretty high by my definition. My Honda doesn't go that high. Let's see. Dang it. No, I think I'm doing something wrong here. Let's see here. Maybe if I push back here and lift up first. Then out. I just pulled the cup holder out. Let's see if it'll give me some more room here. Which, of course, it doesn't. Did I remove this? Pull this console back, then lift it out. That's what I'm doing. Console back. And out. <laughs> you can't! Stupid Chilton's. Come on. Let's see here. Push the thing back. Try it again. Pulling back. Pulling out. Dang it. Okay. You don't have to watch me do this. 